I am going to do a video a little bit later on about animals because animals are an amazing, uh, amazing thing. Look at this little one's just growing up. This is Gordon. He's my three legged cat. I rescued this little fella. What's the matter? What are you doing, boy? What are you? You've never worked with children or animals, did you? Hmm? Go sit down. Go on. Go sit down there, grumpy. And uh, I do want to. I do want to make a bit of a video about animals, and in my experience, with all uh, the the things of mental mental problems, OCD, high function Asperger's, autism, anything, I really think animals are a fantastic, uh, a fantastic. I don't know what they are. They're just uh, a fantastic thing to have in your life because. Animals, um, they don't judge you. They love you unconditionally. They bring you so much happiness and contentment. And this little chap here is called Gordon. I, uh, I, I've, he's got a sad story. There's a video I will put online so people can see. He, I rescued him and uh, he went, he was thrown down some stairs, concrete stairs by, by someone nasty and his legs were smashed. And uh, we had to have a leg taken off and He's probably my best friend, to be honest, and wherever I go, he will always be there. And um, I think uh, with mental health, um, sometimes you can be a bit insular. Chairs, got to get a new chair. Sometimes you can be a bit introverted and insular, and you, you close yourself away. And obviously you, you know, you don't want to do that too much. But I do think having an animal, having uh, something... Um, a cat, a dog, a mouse, or whatever you, you've got. I really found through my life, I was brought up having animals and mainly cats. That it's it's given me um, it's made me feel a love. It's made me feel accepted. It's made me really um, it's made me really passionate and compassionate and caring towards um, towards something that really means something to me. Because I think. People with Asperger's and autism and things, they do struggle with relationships. I really do struggle with relationships and uh, it's hard to explain how intense uh, the, the, the struggle becomes. Because as someone with mental health issues, you are really struggling day to day. It's sometimes a terrible day, you just wish the worst things and sometimes days are okay when you are in a relationship um, you're not only just taking on board your your problems and your issues but you are then over worrying about somebody else who probably hasn't got any issues or problems but you f tend to fabricate them in your mind and, th and sometimes you can think the worst and I was watching some interesting videos about Asperger's meltdowns and I just thought That's, that doesn't sound like that just sounds like an excuse to you know sometimes you sometimes you see things and you think is that just an excuse to you know behave badly or to you know to um you know really just act in an unusual way and label it as something so that it's acceptable and i watched that video and it was incredibly touching because i realized that i in my past i've definitely experienced those and i've had to learn to uh, surround myself with people and, and definitely stay away from people who uh, hate the word trigger it's such a woke term it makes you sound so uh, it makes me feel like uh, I'm being soft I think some people know how to push your buttons and when things aren't going certain people's way they know that you're vulnerable to things and sometimes they can push those buttons and it is a trigger and it's not positive and if you are someone who struggles with autism or mental health or, or any kind of thing you can really go into a snowball panic it just spirals out of control and I will get the courage up sometimes to talk about how they can really affect you because they're some of the darkest thoughts and your your uh, incredible mental drive to 
achieve things, whether good, bad, habits, complexes, uh, compulsions, can all of a sudden be channeled into a very negative, dark, bleak, unhappy place where you really just want to destroy yourself and anyone around you who might possibly care because you don't believe that you're worth caring for. And that this, this belief of not feeling worth being cared for by anyone comes from years and years of struggling and seeing yourself fail at what appear to be normal things that normal everyday people manage to cope with. Um, and I want to go into that some more. I probably better, you know, there's so, there's so many things that I could tell you about and explain. And um, I do want to open up and share because I, I, um, I really have experienced lots of different things and le learned coping coping mechanisms. I've learned how to surround myself with positive people. And especially with work, I've learned how to cope with working in the, in the world um, when it's not easy, when you have struggles, and it's hard to fit in. But I've learned quite successfully how to fit in under my, uh, my own set of rules, which I've been fortunate enough to suss out. And I will share some of those things with you because when I was younger, I'm 48 now, I've said... When I was younger, I despaired. I thought, well, why am I like this? Why is this happening? Why does everyone else function normally in the world? And I always mess up. Everything I do seems to go wrong. Yet I seem to have some skills and some gifts and I'm able to do things, but my mental side of me doesn't allow me to be happy, relaxed, productive. It's always there just trying to absolutely like a landmine just trying to explode and blow me up blow me up into the air and uh, ruin everything that I'm trying to do with people uh, in work um, with friends and hobbies and what have you and I will be going to talk about why it's hard or has been hard for me in the past not to have a friend for more than six months to maybe two to three years at most and then that's it they'll reset the good news is I have got some friends now I've had for many years and that's not been easy, especially probably for them. But again, it's about surrounding yourself with surrounding yourself with people who care and putting yourself into situations uh, that you can cope with. And that's not always an option, this cruel world where we live and are forced to do jobs we don't like and associate with people. But there are some ways around it and I've through lots of mistakes and lots of trial and error, I have learned ways to tackle and to deal with these things. I'm actually quite excited about sharing some of those because I'm still learning now and I think that I've, um, I always will be learning, but I've made so much progress from when I was younger. Uh, so thanks again. I've gone off on a, on a tangent here, but it's been a bit sort of um, on the fly. I just wanted to, uh, I so many things emotionally I wanted to try to share and want to share to help and yeah, you know, I'll, I'll 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 make another another video soon. So thanks again for bearing with me and watching. Um, thank you.